Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio, and in this particular demo, I'm going to show you how to use the Look At action in Playmaker. So what's that gonna do? It's going to allow the camera to follow the player wherever they're at on the screen. And if you're ready to set this up, let's go. Okay, so here we're in Unity. And in the last tutorial, I set up character movement. So we're able to move our character around our board and we're limiting that movement to the board, okay? So the next thing that I wanna do is just really quick, I wanna set up so that the camera follows the player. So what happens if our board gets bigger than the screen? Currently I have this set up in kind of more of a mobile aspect, but you can use this for, uh, for desktop as well or console. And so what I wanna do is I wanna set up my camera to follow the character, okay? So this is really, really super easy in, in Playmaker. So what I'm gonna do is on my camera, I want to be able to follow or look at my character, okay? So there's a great little action that's already built in that will allow us to do that. And that is a look, oops, smooth look at, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Playmaker. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up an FSM on my main camera. And I'm just gonna add an FSM and we'll call this look at player. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and click smooth look at, and let's add that to our state. And then I'm going to use the owner, which is the camera. That's the owner of the FSM. We're going to use that. And then what is it that we want to look at? Well, we want to look at our player. Okay. So let's go ahead and take and drag our character down into the target object spot. Okay. So let's give this a test just to see if it works. So let's go ahead and click play. Okay, so that looks like that works. We see some things that are happening here. The problem is that the play board is really low on the screen and we don't want that, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna look at is that I've got some options here. Target position, up vector, and keep vertical. So keep ver vertical is what's limiting our camera from moving down or from angling down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck keep vertical. So let's go ahead and give that a test real quick. Ah, yeah, now, now our character is more centered but the problem is I think it's maybe just a little bit too high. So what I wanna do is I wanna offset that camera slightly to bring the character down. Now, the way we're gonna do that is with target position. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the variable option here for target position so I can just get to my X, Y, and Z. And I know I want the character to move down slightly. So I want the, that means I want the camera to move up as a offset to where the character position is. So what I'm gonna do is you can easily just click on the Y within the target position and then just move this to where it feels good for you. So I'm gonna do kind of maybe close to two thirds, one third, maybe not quite as much. So let's say maybe uh, 3.26, somewhere around there I think looks pretty good. So I know that position now. I'm doing this while the game is playing, so it's not going to record what I do, okay? So once I stop play, this is gonna get zeroed back out. So let's go ahead and unplay real quick. And now you can see that that's back to the default. So let's go ahead and uncheck. We want the Y position to be 3.26. And then let's give this a test. Yeah, and I think that actually looks pretty darn good. So there you go. There's a nice little action that you can allow the camera to follow your character within the scene. Hey, I know this is a short tutorial, but hopefully you'll find this useful in your projects. Again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.